Building on the free quick start, I'd like to show some further functions concerning DVD or Blu-ray settings. To do this, I'll go to the correct page, which is File, Export, Burn to Disk. We can also call it up using the Shift and F11 keys, the basic functions we've learnt previously. What I'd like to look at now is in the Style section, this title menu. We can see that EDIUS has used our project and sequence names to create a basic menu that we could then burn. And for the minute, the title menu would look exactly like this, just as we see it on the screen. There is one button to click, this one here, and that would play my film the moment we clicked on it. Now, of course, it would be nice if we could separate our film into subsections or chapters so that we could jump to specific points in the film easily. And if I look here on the left side, in these options, then I can see that the No Chapter menu is active. I'll deactivate this function for the minute, and now we can see that in the Title menu preview, there is a new button for Chapter. And if we now go into the Edit menu, there I can call up the separate menus. So here I can see my menu, my Title menu that we had previously, but now I can change to the chapter menu. And then my separate chapters would be listed. For the minute, I only have one, as EDIUS only acknowledges one chapter in the current sequence. That would basically be the complete film. And this is the only button I can select, so once again that would play the complete film. What EDIUS appears to want is links to where these specific chapters start. And so we can look into this now. And the first thing I'll do is close the burn to disk window with close. I'll save the settings with yes. And now I have to create markers for the individual chapters. And to do this, I change into the bin section. And in the subsection sequence marker, I can see I have the possibility to create markers in a sequence. And I can see this by the Set Marker button up here. Or, alternatively, you can do this directly from the keyboard with the V key. I'll do this at the beginning of the film. Set Marker. And now we can see a marker appears. I can also see in the timeline that there is a mark here. The next marker I'll set here, where the film starts. Or where the music starts to be more accurate. Set marker. Once again, I can see the marker here. Then the next one, more or less here. And so we have a few marker points within our film. And so here we have a selection of sequence marker points and I can use these to jump to specific sections of my project. What I really want to do is use them as markers for the burn to disk window. And so I'll go back in over the file menu, export burn to disk. And if I now go back into edit and go into my chapter menu, then I can see there are more buttons. And in fact, for each of our sequence markers, there is a button with a relevant thumbnail. And if I burnt this to disk, I could use these buttons to jump directly to those sections. This would mean if I put the DVD or Blu-ray in my machine, then first of all, I would get the title menu. Then I could click on this button and I would come to the chapter menu. And then I can simply choose whichever chapter I wish to start the film from. I'll go back into the style section and if I look in the options again, then I can see the option No Title Menu. And if I select this, then there is no title menu. So I would simply get a list of chapters if I was to play my DVD or Blu-ray. Also, we can see here under Edit, there is no title menu. We simply see the menu which shows all the chapters. And so we've seen a method with which we can split a film into various chapters by using these sequence markers. 
And with these, if the disc is burnt, for example as a DVD or a Blu-ray, then the viewer can jump directly to specific chapters.